So here is a video of my new DJ console, which I have just set up inside my uh, container, uh, just to give me somewhere to big enough to put it up. So nice black cloth that goes along the front, attaches with Velcro all the way along, right the way to the end. Um, these cost a fair bit of money. So uh, there you kind of see the finish it's got. You've also got a cloth up at the top which is designed to hide all your cables for your lights. So looks good. Now this DJ console benefits from lots of very good features. One of them is it has loads of anchorage points. So for you to put lights on, if you're doing a, a gig in a venue with a very low ceiling where you can't get the overhead bar up, you've got room to put six lights along the front here. So that's good. You could potentially drill holes here and add another couple on either side if you wanted to do that. Now going around the back, you'll see this place has captive bolts because there's nothing worse than trying to put a light up and you've got a light, a bolt and a nut and you've only got two hands. So this kind of helps you put the light in the bracket over, you just hold the bracket and then with the other hand you just put the wing nut on, makes life easy. You've also got conventional holes as well, top and bottom, all the way along. So there are actually 26 different places that you can put lights currently on this stand and as I say you could add at least two more on the end and two more on that end giving you 30. Now other things that are particularly good I decided to put a polycarbonate sheet here which attaches with velcro so you can just take it off when you're ready and put it back on when you're ready. Now the advantage with that is you don't have the usual problem with a punter that stands here with a can of juice in one hand or a pint over the top of your laptop or your mixer and there's the risk that if he spills it, it ends up on your gear. With this, it goes right the way down, over the front and down and it's nowhere near your gear. So a very, very useful um, piece of safety equipment. It's just something I really like. Now these are height adjustable. They're very solid. Um, I've put moving heads up on here. It does waver a wee bit, because obviously you will get little bits of play in the metal, but nothing uh, to worry about. Secured with two bolts, there's one that goes all the way through, so there's no way that uh, it can fall. And you've got another bolt here just to actually tighten the, the leg up, which I've not tightened up fully yet, but if I do it now, that's it, tight as can be. And same again at the other side, um, all nice and tight. Uh, other things. It's got a leg here, which detaches. All you do is you take out this bolt here, you slide this this way, the leg comes off, uh, but it, again, it gives you this massive area here to put all your cardboard boxes from all your lights. And under here, you've got even more space for boxes and you've got a decent shelf. And the thing with our shelves, we don't use cheap plywood, uh, cheap MDF, we use plywood, and it's actually got a wooden block under here to stop the shelf from moving. And the same with this one here. You're probably a bit to see it. You see the blocks right at the front there and at the other end. Now underneath here, there's a white cloth, which is exactly the same as the black cloth on the front size-wise. Um, so if you're doing a lot of weddings and you want to have an all white setup, it's a beautiful cloth, really, really nice, looks great. And uh, that's included. So you get two cloths, full deck stand, it's very stable, I mean, incredibly stable. If you're worried about your stuff getting knocked over, we've moved the center of gravity for the lighting back here, and we put this extra leg at the front, and this bit here gives it much more stability. So this stand is incredibly stable, and the bars go all the way down to the floor, all the way along on both sides. So. You could mount a TV on the front if you wanted to. There's plenty of places to hang it. You could hang it from this bar here, or you could um, make up, um, or we might even make up a particular bracket for in each person's individual TV. So those are just some of the uh, the things. It's made of steel. It's not aluminium. Um, as a result, it's a wee bit heavier, but heavy is quite good from the point of view of stability and punters pulling your decks over. I think it'll be quite hard to pull this over. And uh, I think it looks absolutely brilliant. I, I love it. Uh, and I will be taking this one out myself again this weekend. I took one out on Friday. There was a couple of wee niggly faults, which I've now fixed, just a couple of holes that hadn't been drilled out sufficiently to get the bolt in. And I had one little uh, nut that wouldn't go on, but that's now been sorted. And that's basically it. So there you go. I think this is the best DJ stand I have ever seen. And that's what I fully intended it to be.